At least four people are dead. More than a thousand homes have been destroyed by one of the most devastating wildfire outbreaks in Texas history. More than 180 fires have erupted in the past week, aided by the state's year-long drought, which has been one of the most severe dry spells ever. Nearly 600 of those homes that have been lost are in and around Bastrop near Austin. All that's left of William Clement's home is some metal roofing and smoldering ash. We're, we're recovering from the shock, landing on our feet, and ready to move forward and get reestablished and go again. About 1,200 firefighters from both local departments and as far away as Oregon have been sent to the hot spots, and more are on the way. What we're doing is along the properties here, we're removing the vegetation away from the fence lines, uh, trying to get the fire to stay on the ground and not in the canopy of the trees. By doing such and cooling the edge, if the wind does come through, we're not going to have a main wind gust. It's not going to cross the road. It's not going to become a crown fire. Texas governor and Republican presidential candidate Rick Perry toured the area by helicopter Tuesday. He also deployed the state's elite search team to look for more possible victims. Perry abandoned campaign stops to come back to Texas, but a campaign spokesman said that he planned to be at tonight's Republican presidential debate in California. Brian Thomas, the Associated Press.